This is my first getting started tutorial on the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. This is the same company that created the ESP8266 series of chips, modules and development boards. This episode only covers the extreme basics like for example ESP32 pinout, soldering, ESP32 Arduino IDE board manager installation and how to write a very basic program using the Arduino IDE to control an LED using the Blink application. The PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBA company. The Gerber files of the ESP32 power supply PCB board can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In my previous tutorial on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems, I explained the extreme basics including the penout. Arduino IDE board manager installation and how to control an LED using the Blink application. While performing the basic experiments, you can use your laptop to power up the ESP32 module and you can make temporary connections using a breadboard. After you are done with all the testing and you are satisfied with your programming, finally a time comes when you realize that it seems quite impractical to power up the ESP32 module using a laptop and moreover you cannot use a breadboard for the final connections. So this video is all about how to make your own regulated power supply board for the ESP32 module. This power supply board can also be used as the development board. As you can see I have added the male and female type headers due to which you can easily interface the ESP32 module with different types of sensors and other electronic devices. I have also added some extra holes where you can directly solder sensors, wires from other electronic devices and so on. In today's episode you will learn how to make an IoT Internet of Things based home automation system using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected 220 volt AC light bulbs which can be controlled using the Blink application from anywhere around the world. If you have never used the ESP32 module, then I highly recommend first to watch my previous two tutorials on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. In this tutorial we will cover number one ESP32 home automation complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two Blink application designing. Number three ESP32 home automation programming using the Arduino IDE and finally number four testing. In today's episode, you will learn how to make IoT based water quality monitoring system using TDS sensor DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor and ESP32 Wi Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. As this project is based on the IoT Internet of Things based technology, so the EC electrical conductivity and temperature can be monitored from anywhere around the world using the Blink application. EC or electrical conductivity of water is its ability to conduct an electric current. Salts or other chemicals that dissolve in water can break down into positively and negatively charged ions. These free ions in the water conduct electricity. So the Water electrical conductivity depends on the concentration of ions. Salinity and total dissolved solids TDS, are used to calculate the EC of water, which helps to indicate the water's purity. The purer the water, the lower the conductivity. To give a real life example, distilled water is almost an 
insulator but salt fodder is a very efficient electrical conductor Currently, the EC value which you can see on the gauge is the EC value of the fresh water. Let's see what happens when we start adding the salt. As you can see, the EC value has increased. This is version 2 of the water quality monitoring system which is more stable, cost effective and easy to build. While version 1 of the water quality monitoring system was based on the Arduino 16 into 2 LCD, DS18B20 and TDS sensor. In version 1 of the water quality monitoring system, I have explained the extreme basics including the TDS sensor pinout basic working principle, circuit diagram, Arduino programming, and so on. ESP32 Bluetooth Plus Wi-Fi module by the Espressive Systems come with the built-in low-energy Bluetooth module which can be used just like the standard HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth modules. The ESP32 Bluetooth module can be paired with all types of cell phones and special Android cell phone applications can be designed for monitoring and controlling different types of sensors and electrical loads. I will start with the very basics explaining how to make a simple wireless text messaging system using the ESP32 Bluetooth module and the Android cell phone application. After explaining the basic programming and circuit diagram, then I will explain how to make a smart house and control electrical loads using the ESP32 Bluetooth and an Android cell phone application designed in Android Studio. So later in the end, I will explain how to use the ESP32 Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together to make smart house or home automation system. You will be able to control the electrical loads using the Android cell phone application without using the internet and more it's best for the short range communication. For the worldwide control system we will make an application using the Blink IoT platform. With the help of this application the electrical loads can be controlled from anywhere around the world. For every load to control Strong passwords are used which can be manually entered using my designed Android cell phone application or you can make your own application, add some buttons and you don't need to write the passwords. Both the applications can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. If you want to design your own Android cell phone application then watch my tutorial which explains step by step how to make your own Android cell phone application using the Android Studio. In this episode we will cover number one circuit diagram explanation number two basic intermediate and advanced code explanation number three blink application designing and finally number four testing in my last tutorial on the Google Firebase database I explained how to send a sensor value from the node MCU ESP8266 Firefly module to the Google Firebase database. In today's episode, we are going to make the same exact thing using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. This is the same exact company that created the ESP8266 series of chips, modules and development boards. As this is a getting started tutorial, I will try to keep things simple so that you can easily follow this tutorial. 
I'll be using a variable resistor or potentiometer as the sensor. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, circuit diagram explanation. Number two, how to set up your Google Firebase database account. Number three, ESP32 Firebase programming. And finally, number four, testing. In today's episode, which is the version 2, you will learn how to design your own Firebase Android application using Android Studio. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected the DHT11 temperature and humidity module with the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. The temperature and humidity values from the ESP32 are sent to the Firebase Android application. This DIY IoT power relay based on the ESP32 Firefly Plus Bluetooth module can be used to control the high power devices like for example water pumps, air conditioners, heaters and other high ampere loads. The best thing about this IoT power relay is that it can be controlled from two different sources. The best thing about this IoT power relay is that it can be controlled from anywhere around the world using the Wi-Fi technology. So it really doesn't matter how far you are. If you have the internet connection, you can turn on and turn off the power relay. The cell phone application is designed in Blink, which I will explain in a few minutes. The same power relay can also be controlled over the Bluetooth using the cell phone application designed in Android Studio. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to design your own Android cell phone application using Android Studio. I will provide a link in the description. For the demonstration purposes, I'll be controlling a water pump using this IoT power relay. To control the water pump over the Wi-Fi connection, all you need is open your IoT power relay cell phone application and start controlling the water pump. This application should only be used if you are far away. If you are at home or near to the power relay, then you can use your Bluetooth application to control the water pump. This also eliminates the risk of electric shock as there is no need to physically operate the switch. The IoT power relay can be used to control the water pump without any risk. In this episode, you will learn how to use the Node MCU ESP8266 and ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module with the ThinkSpeak IoT platform. A potentiometer is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, while the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor is connected with the ESP32 module. The field run consists of the potentiometer value. By rotating the knob of the potentiometer, different values are sent to the ThinkSpeak field 1 where these values are displayed on the chart. Field 2 and field 3 consist of the humidity and temperature values respectively. It takes approximately 20 seconds to update the values and this is the reason I prefer UV dots over the ThinkSpeak IoT platform. Because in UV dots the values are updated after every one second. But anyhow I will continue with ThinkSpeak as I have already used the UV dots IoT platform. I will provide a link in the description if you want to learn how to use the UV dots IoT platform. In this episode, you will learn how to use ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module with GSM SIM 900A module. ESP32 and GSM module together can be used in different advanced level projects. 
The main advantage of using the ESP32 with GSM module is that if you have the internet connection and the ESP32 module is connected with the Wi-Fi, then you can monitor the sensor data in real time from anywhere around the world using the Blink application or any other IoT platform and you will also be able to receive the alert messages via GSM network. There are situations when the internet is not available. In a situation like this, you won't be able to monitor the data in real time. But you will get the alert messages via GSM network each time the sensor crosses a predefined value. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected a variable resistor with the ESP32 module. You can use any type of analog and digital sensors. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two, blink application designing. Number three, code explanation. And finally, number four, testing.